Hi there, brothers and sisters. Today I wanted to do a review of a very neat Bible that I just ordered and got delivered today. And uh, the reason I'm doing a review on this, it, as you know, some of you that follow my channel, I've done Bible reviews on many Bibles in the past. And, uh, and some of the ones I've done, I will be the first to admit, other people have done reviews long before me, and probably some people have done some since. So when I went to look for this Bible, when I was interested in purchasing it, Surprisingly, I could find no reviews on YouTube that showed this Bible, the actual copy of it. So, curiosity eventually got the better of me. And uh, the only reviews I could find on it were like on various Christian, you know, booksellers that sell it. And actually a couple of reviews on eBay of all places. And uh, the feedback was very, very good. I mean, I don't think I read really any bad feedback on it. It was just a lot of rave reviews about this, so... Me being the curious human that I am, I had to order it. <laughs> but, with that being said, the reason I'm doing this review is uh, I want to show it to you. You will, you will now have a video. You know, I didn't have one when I was looking to see it, to review it. But after I publish this one, you will have a review to actually lay eyes on this thing before you order it, as far as outside and inside. So, let's get to explaining what this thing is. Obviously, it is a holy Bible, so... And obviously it is a King James edition, which is my favorite, so that's a plus. And it says, The History of Redemption. Some of you are probably wondering, what does that mean? I'm about to explain it. Here's the spine of it. Again, Holy Bible, King James Version. The History of Redemption. And uh, it's got, okay, let me uh, show you something else real quick. This is one publication, but it's made into a zippered case. And this, you know, just like a standard Bible case that you would buy. So if they make it this way. Once you open this thing up. Let me do this real quick. You probably have to do it one-handed since I'm filming this on a phone. So bear with me. Okay. Sorry about that. Hope I didn't get you too dizzy. <laughs> okay. So once we, uh, let me explain something real quick before we go into it. So what this is, obviously it's the Holy Bible, but it's also got eight other books published together with it in this package, in a zippered package. And it's really fascinating because while I own many Bibles, as many of you know that have follow my reviews, I often, when I'm doing my Bible study here at home, uh, use this Bible study companion set, have for many years, uh, and what this is, uh, is a series of books published by Ellen G. White, and they're called Patriarchs and Prophets, Prophets and Kings, The Desire of Ages, Acts of the Apostles, The Great Controversy. And let me show you uh, what these books are. This review is not a review of this box set, although I do recommend it if you can still find one. Uh, the Bible Study Companion Set says it makes the Bible record come alive. You come over here, and it tells you the purpose of the set. And it tells you that it covers all the Bible history from Eden lost to Eden restored, makes the Bible record come alive, amplifies and illuminates God's word, and captures all the drama of the Bible stories, helps make the Bible teachings clear, and it says it's an indispensable aid to serious Bible study. And I could not agree more. Some of the greatest books I've ever read alongside of my Bible have brought me so close to Jesus, and I'd like to think hopefully made me... A better person over the years but anyways so you've got that set of books here's another book which has got a which is a book full of huge lessons by the same author Ellen G White about the Christ object lessons that you find in his parables and then there's also a book uh, there's one called blessings from the Mount of uh... okay I admit I'm going blank on that title but and then there's steps to Christ so what you have is about eight books total that many people, including myself, use as Bible study aids while we're going through the Holy Word of God. Well, this publishing company, the uh, Everlasting Gospel uh, Publishing Association, has decided to publish these eight books with the Bible, or behind the Bible. So basically what you got when you open it up, first and foremost, of course, you've got the Bible. Praise the Lord as it should be in the King James Version. And it tells you right there, King James Version, Holy Bible, the History of Redemption series. 
eight books with full Bible in one volume. So what they did basically is give you the Bible along with a huge Bible study companion set. Because as you can see, I purchased this thing separate. And uh, they have an updated edition now, which I also have in larger print. But that's the very first one that I ever purchased that I used for many, many hours. So, you know, you, you can spend a lot of money on the side to buy yourself that uh, Bible study companion set there. Or you could just save yourself a whole lot of money. And now they got this Bible available. It's got all this stuff published in with it. So it starts out like any Bible with the presentation page. It tells you presented to, from. It'd be a great idea to give this to a young person as a gift. For those of you looking for graduation gifts or what have you. But anyway, just like most standard Bibles, it tells you books of the Bible. You got the Old Testament, you got the New Testament, table of contents. It shows you the Bibles first and foremost, as it should be. Books of the Old Testament and New Testament right there. And once you finish the end of the Bible, which is Revelation, of course, then you have these eight books, five of which you see right there, amazingly, published into this uh, same publication. So, and that's what they're calling the History of Redemption series. And these books include Patriarchs and Prophets, Prophets and Kings, The Desire of Ages, The Mount of Blessing, I think that's the book title I was forgetting a few minutes ago, Christ's Object Lessons, The Acts of the Apostles, The Great Controversy, Steps to Christ, and Maps. As you can see, there's five of those books, and then I showed you, I had a separate publication version of Christ Object Lesson that I showed you, plus two more. Uh, Steps to Christ has been known for many, many years to, to lead people into a closer relationship with Jesus. So you have all these Bible study aids published into this, this version of the Bible. And to me, that is just so neat. So when you first open the thing, and I'm doing this one-handed again, so please be kind to me. Uh, you've got the, the Bible, you know, standard, doesn't really look any different. Uh, it's pretty readable. Uh, I would probably prefer it a little bit larger print because it's nine point. And my favorite Bible that I own, if y'all seen my previous reviews, is a sword study Bible, which I have in personal size large print and giant print. And, and my littler sword study Bible, which is probably my favorite, is in 12 point font. And this is about nine point font, so... It is readable. I can read it. But if you have really, really bad eyesight, you know, you might, that might be one complaint you might have about this. At this point, I can still read it, but I do kind of wish they might have made it a little bit larger font. So basically, you know, you've seen Bibles, probably, if you're like me, you've been through hundreds of them, seen hundreds of them. There's really nothing that stands out about the Bible itself as far as any special uh, type of things they've done. I mean, the Word of God stands out wonderfully always on its own, but I'm just talking about the publication itself. It's just uh, basically standard and basic King James edition. Uh, it gives you, it's got the headings published up top, the second book of Moses called Exodus. Now what you do have that makes this neat, let me point this out. You come down here to the very bottom of the page, and it will tell you, like, there's a note on Genesis, I'm sorry, be Exodus 1, 7 through 22. And it's got cross-references. You see that PP 24, 2? What that is telling you is you can go into the book Patriarchs and Prophets to page 241 and 242, and there's going to be commentary on Exodus 1, 1 7 through 22 in, in that book. So, again, Patriarch PP stands for Patriarchs and Prophets. That would be the first book in the series over here. And uh, it's got something to say. It's got commentary on that. So anytime you get to the bottom in this particular Bible, it's always got cross-references in the History of Redemption series, which is just neat to me. Very amazing. Uh, the pages are pretty, pretty good. I mean, they really are. I've actually seen a lot thinner pages before than these. It's actually decent paper they've got in here. So no complaints there. But let's get to the uh, the interesting part here that most of you probably are wondering about. The Bible itself is just uh, your standard King James Bible. Uh, 
does have the words of Christ in red once we get to the New Testament. I check that immediately. That's a big thing for me. Let me show that to you. There's Psalms. Let me get up here to the New Testament to show you that. And surprisingly, it lays pretty flat considering it's in a pre-published uh, zippered case like this. I was wondering about that. But yeah, it lays pretty flat. So here we are in the book of Luke. You can see that it does have the words of Christ in red, which to me is a requirement. Uh, I think I mentioned on a previous video, one time I ordered the Andrew Study Bible, which I, I liked. It had a lot of neat features, but I just couldn't get over the fact that the words of Christ were not in red. That's why I like the Sword Study Bible. It has the words of God in the Old Testament and the New Testament in red. So definitely that's just a must have for me so this one has it so it meets that check on my list and that really made me happy with it when i got that far and seen that so once we get past the bible itself it's got a couple neat features that i enjoyed so here we are at the end of the book of revelation I'm getting ahead of myself trying to get through here okay here's the end of the book of revelation and then it has something that I thought was really neat. It's got several pages for notes. And I've seen other Bibles with this in the past, but, you know, I'm really not one that likes to write in my Bible as far as on the actual pages of Scripture. Now, a lot of people may think I'm funny because I don't do that, but I don't like to do that. So to me, having these note pages in here is just awesome because I will definitely write on these. That's what they're for. That's not, you know, not part of the Scripture. So I can make all kind of notes there. But anyway, that aside, if you like to take notes, which I do, but not in the, the, the scripture, awesome. That's another check on my list. History of Redemption series. So we finished the Holy Bible, which if I can pull down the zippered part here, hopefully you can see. So about the, the half of it, or a little, yeah, I guess about half, it's hard to see, it is the Bible itself. So that's where the Bible ended. Now what we have is the History of Redemption series. And this is not Bible. This is Bible commentary starting here. And again, here's five of the books that are published in this one volume behind the Bible. To me, that is just so neat. It tells you a little bit about it, the development of the History of Redemption series, the History of Redemption. It goes back over the book titles again. And then you've got a note to a student here, to a Bible student. That's pretty neat. So anyway, before each book starts, you have a like a title page. So here, we start out the series with number one. Labels it as one. It says Patriarchs and Prophets. That was the first in the series of the Bible commentary set. So we open it up. Now here's another thing that's really cool. Look at this. It's got a place where you can make notes again. Page number, summary... Uh, page number. I mean, so basically if you find anything that you want to like make a cross reference to between this commentary book and the word You can come here and list it in this section And to me that was just really really neat and they've got several note pages of it again just for that You've got the standard preface of that book Just like it would be I'm pretty sure in the actual printed edition like that or separate published version And then we get into the actual, yeah, the actual book here. Just like the separately printed edition, this is so neat to me. You have your index or contents page. Tells you each chapter of this particular book. Why was sin permitted, the creation, the temptation and fall, the plan of redemption, Cain and Abel tested. This, wow. I was really impressed with this publication. So anyway, we go through here. And it would take quite a while. And by the way, I have read every one of these books in the five book series there that you've seen in that box. Highly recommend every one of them. So we're still on Patriarchs and Prophets. Patriarchs and Prophets. Let me get to the next book. I'm just kind of trying to get you through all this. Here we go. Finally made it back here. The second book in the series is Prophets and Kings. As you can see over there, second one is Prophets and Kings. Still published in here. The third one is my personal favorite. It's called The Desire of Ages. 
It's a wonderful biography of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you don't read any book out of this series, but maybe one, read that one. It is absolutely amazing. So yeah, here we are. We got the Desire of Ages. We finally got to that one. Let me go back to where it starts in here. Here we go. Yep. You say abbreviated as DA. The Desire of Ages. So that's where this particular book starts. Again, it has your note pages for it, for notes that you might want to take. It's got the book intro, contents. That's a very interesting chapter there, how it starts out, Unto You a Savior. Mm, that's, that's a good book. I highly recommend anybody read that. That will, uh, that will bring you close to Jesus right there. So I'm ecstatic that they've actually published this in this publication with these other books. Okay, and then we're going to eventually get up to Acts of the Apostles. I know I need to hurry this review because it's a little longer than I wanted it to be. You know what? Actually, the Mount of Blessings. So they got these a little, well, I won't say out of order. They're in order, but let's just say they've inserted a few other books besides these in this set as well. So... After the Desire of Ages, they published the Mount of Blessing in this particular publication. And then they went to Christ Object Lessons, which is another book. It's there. That would be in this section. And then at some point, I'm assuming we're going to jump to the Acts of the Apostles back here. Yes. So yeah, the Acts of the Apostles is here. And you get to read this book in its entirety. And finally, you get to finish with The Great Controversy, another great book if you have not read it. Uh, right there. And that book basically is about the controversy between Christ and Satan, all the way from the time that Satan was kicked out of heaven till the end of time, or the end of the current earthly time and beyond, till after the millennium. Fabulous book. I highly recommend that to anybody that is... Truly wanting some in-depth Bible study. Wonderful book. So yeah, it looks like it's going to end with a great controversy. And then once you have that, I think it goes to a map section, but let me see here. Yeah, because here's the end of the great controversy, it looks like. Yeah, and then it has an appendix after that. For all these publications that were in this thing. At the very back of it. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot Steps to Christ. So the final book published in this set is going to be Steps to Christ. So yeah, after the great controversy, you've got Steps to Christ published. And then at the very back of this Bible, you've got your standard... Uh, section, you know, with maps. I think pretty much any Bible these days has has a section like this. But anyways, I just uh, I just wanted to do this review because I did not find any others like it on YouTube, and I actually went looking for one before I bought this Bible because I wanted to see it. I wanted to see what does it have inside of it. So what you got inside of it again, you got the Bible in its entirety, King James edition with the History of Redemption series, which includes these five books, plus this book, the Acts of the Apo I'm sorry, Christ Object Lessons, and then it also includes uh, the Mount of Blessing and Steps to Christ. So you've got the Holy Bible and eight commentary books, all published into one amazing zippered publication. And decent sized font on it. It's got nine point font, so... You know, when you consider that back in the day, I would lug this old thing around to study. This huge box set. And basically, you know, I mean, you've got it all right inside here, plus uh, three other books. So, what a deal. And this uh, usually sells for anywhere between 90 to, I think, 110 bucks. 
I bought mine from the Amazing Facts bookstore. And one other thing I will mention, I opted for what they called the Deluxe Edition, which came with a study chart, the History of Redemption study chart. And it came with this neat little guidebook here, which tells you about the history of redemption, which is basically, in a nutshell, the controversy between Jesus and Satan since since the days of heaven before earth was created. And then it comes with this really neat chart, and this thing is huge. So it comes with this chart, if you get the deluxe edition from Amazing Facts website, and it says the great controversy between Christ between excuse me the great controversy between christ and satan the history of redemption series study chart and it's called the great panorama and i opened this thing up earlier and my goodness it is it's a huge chart uh it's like a wall size chart it's really huge but it well yeah i'm not even gonna attempt to unfold that on this video because yeah, I was having trouble with two hands earlier, but it's just, it's amazing. It's a neat little chart. It really is for studying the Word of God and getting to know the big picture, you know, in front of your eyes on a chart type of version. Really neat stuff. But anyway, I hope this review uh, has been helpful to you. I'm by no means a professional and, uh, you know, wasn't sure what all y'all wanted to hear, hear me say or show you about it. I was just trying to think of what I would be curious about before I bought it. I did a brief walkthrough on it. Hopefully it answered some questions for you. You got to see it. One last look at it opened here. That's my old squeaky desk chair there. Apologize about that. But yeah, I, I can honestly say I have no regrets about buying this. I would buy it all over again. Very, very neat. I wish I would have found it many years ago. Uh, might not have had to buy all these box sets that I have around here. <laughs> Even though I'm quite a book collector, so no complaints there. But uh, but yeah, just amazing that you can carry all that commentary around along with your Bible in one zippered up compact little publication. I think that's a great blessing. And I hope that uh, I hope it is a blessing to many people. And uh, I hope this review blessed you. God bless and we'll see you down the road.